Hey everyone, welcome and welcome back to the Iowa Homeschool Mom channel. Today we're going to be unboxing a Mommy and Me art box. Now, if you guys aren't familiar with this company, it's basically like the name states. It's a monthly subscription box where they send you a different art kit each month straight to your door. And this box is designed for ages 3 and up, and it includes three art projects, one science project, and one visual recipe. And what I really liked about this subscription is that they actually sent me an email kind of showing you all the different activities and how to do them um, through an instructional video before the box even got to our house. So that was really nice to watch before receiving the box. Now I'm really excited to see what's inside and we also have a helper here today so you might hear her in the background because she's also really excited to see what's inside as well. So let's get going. Okay, so you're going to notice that I actually have two separate boxes here. And the reason for that is because the Mommy and Me art box actually allows you to order one subscription but upgrade to multiple sets of materials if you have multiple children. So I have two different children that are going to be doing the art projects. So I have two boxes here. And doing that actually saves you a little bit of money rather than having to order two separate subscriptions for each child. So I thought that was really good that they offered that. All right, so let's see what's inside. Okay, so on top, you just have these set of pamphlets. And the first one is basically a thank you for your order card. And then the next one is just a general about the box. And again, this is the month of October box for fall. And on the back, it says what this box contains and what you will need. And it looks like everything that you will need looks pretty basic. So you should already have it around your house, baking supplies, cookie sheet, towel, paper towels, scissors, and then it has some optional stuff there. Um, and then it also has what's provided in this month's box. Okay. Then it also has sheets on each individual project. So we'll be doing the fall storm mixed media art. And again, it includes what's in the box and what you'll need from your supplies. And then on the back, they have instructions on how to do the project. Can I see? Here you go, sweetie. And then we have the diffusing paper leaf people. What leaf people? <laughs> you want to see those? <laughs> then we have the fall lantern. The black light science. This one, it looks so fun. Well, they all look fun, really. And then we have a Play-Doh visual recipe. And then there's a little about me. So uh, Melanie, the owner of the company, just tells you a little bit more about herself. And then you also have the visual recipe here for the Play-Doh. So we like I making our... So yeah, we like making our own Play-Doh in our house, so we'll be excited to try this recipe. Okay. And then it looks like we have some supplies here. So this looks like it'll be for painting the canvas. I want the yellow. It looks like we have a glue pen. Some tempera paint. And a paintbrush. And this all seems pretty nice like quality, guys. Brushes. You do like paintbrushes, don't you? I paint myself. Look at it. I paint. You're silly. Okay. I'm painting you. Mommy, look, I paint you. You did paint me. Let's see what's in this bag. 
Okay, so this looks like the materials for the fall lantern. So you have the jar, and it's a plastic jar with, it looks like a battery oper operated LED candle. So that's great if you have little kids that are doing the box. And then you have the beads for the handle. Okay. Find out. We actually have another bag. We do have one more bag for this. Okay, so we have the paper for the leaf people, and the leaves are already cut out. It's all right. We'll get it. So that's nice. You don't have to worry about cutting out the leaves out of the paper there. And you even have a spray bottle for the water. And they even give you markers. So they literally give you almost everything that you need. And then the eyes for the fall leaf people. Maybe I can put small eyes on my sticks. <laughs> my sticks on your, right? You want to put some on your sticks? Yeah. Yeah. Then we have Ew, canvas here, and it looks like some little sequences and some orange tape there, and then some little fall leaves for the canvas. We have everything we need. Yeah, it does look like we have everything we need, huh? <coughs> okay, let's do this. Bless you. And our last bag here. I don't know what's in that bag. I don't know what's, what is in it either. Yeah. Oh, okay. So this is for the black light science. So they give you some black paper. It's basic black. It feels like computer paper kind of. like the light okay. and then you have your your pin that you'll need for the black light science okay. I think that's it guys so yeah it looks like they pretty much provide everything that you'll need so we're gonna be doing some of these projects here today and I'm looking forward to showing you some of and, them completed. And, and, uh, and my stick. And we're going to do some stick projects too. No, my stick that Your I... Your stick. My stick that I found outside right. that I'm going to put some googly eyes on it. Right, and we're going to put googly eyes on her stick that she found outside. Make <laughs> leaf people and stick people. Yay! <laughs>
your paper. So clearly we had a lot of fun doing this subscription box. Definitely a little messy, but totally worth it, you guys. One thing I wanted to point out that I didn't notice when we were unboxing is that everything is actually color-coded for each project. So you'll notice this black light science that has an orange dot. So the bag with the orange dot will have everything for this project inside of it. And then materials inside of the box that aren't in color-coded bags, those will be used for multiple projects. And then I also wanted to point out that each month's box is actually designed for the following month. So for example, September's box had a Halloween vibe to it and then the November box, which will be we will be receiving soon, it actually has a Christmas slash wintry feel to it. And then we did end up having everything we needed. We didn't have to go out and buy anything. The only thing I can think of is that for the Play-Doh recipe is that some people might be low, low on baking supplies or they might not have cream of tartar. But otherwise, you should have everything you need in the box, guys. So this was a huge time saver for us. Uh, we've been busy preparing for baby number three, so this was just really nice to have ready-to-go art projects for the kids. We could just grab them and do them. And then I also mentioned at the beginning of the video that the box is designed for ages three and up. However, I did have a two-year-old doing the projects with us, and he did really great, guys. I, I just needed to help him a few times, like putting the tape on. Um, but otherwise, he did wonderful. Um, just be mindful if you do have a younger one doing the projects that some pieces, like these beads here, um, they might be choking hazards for them. It was nice because for the the battery-operated candle, this back part was actually glued shut, um, if you were worried about that. Um, but otherwise, it was good because instead of using a real candle where they can't burn themselves with the battery-operated one instead. So that was nice. And of course, you're always going to want to supervise the little ones as well. Yeah, so that about wraps it up, you guys. I'll be sure to link the Mommy and Me art box in the description box below so you guys can check out that and get some more information on the subscription and check out some of the other past boxes. And if you guys enjoyed this unboxing, be sure to hit that thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. We do lots of unboxing and homeschool videos on this channel. And be sure to hit that little bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. We'll see you in the next one.